welcome to the 1878 FM podcast. It's a week where Everton haven't played and there's a lot of joviality. We, I must say, disclaimer right at the very start, Dave Vitti's carrying a hamstring injury and might need to leave the uh, the podcast very early. I don't think he's done his warm-up properly and it might ping early doors. So just it's be got, aware that. It's got ping tendencies for sure. It, it, just this week, it feels like it has. Um, mm, yeah, that's code that. for Dave's very busy, but he's at least turned up, which is good. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Lad, how are you? Some oh. weeks. Well, yeah, it is, yeah. It is. Are you freezing? It is cold. I know, but... It is cold. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Isn't there Same. a thing on the radio you're never supposed to say up talk about the temperature? Isn't that right, Dave? On, like, radio or TV, you're not supposed to talk about how hot or cold it is. Have I made that up? I've never heard that before, oh, to be honest you've made it you. up. So maybe you have made it up. I mean, I, I, I like to talk about how hot and cold it is, to be honest with you, because <laughs> um, yeah. it's part of my life. To be fair, Sam, it might be a new thing on the radio. Maybe. Maybe it's a new thing, but I'm freezing as well. Is that a thin it's cold, isn't it? Dig if Dave mm. Vitti did. No, it wasn't a thinly veiled dig. It's because... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't thinly veiled at all. No. <laughs> Jim Atkinson's always talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. Have you not got them gloves on that Jay Paul and Mike Tyson no, on the other no. night to make sure you can't hear? Um, I think it's more. No, but what I meant by that is because Dave. I think we know what you meant. No, by no. It. When Dave was on on the radio, the 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 um. It was very like in the moment, wasn't it? Oh. Whereas now mm. oh, okay. it feels like it's mm. uh, everything. Oh, everything is like yeah. yeah. Everything is like uh, on demand now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it feels like, and I think this evergreen like, ped, evergreen is the word. Evergreen. Evergreen. Start, yeah. I remember with uh, someone from you may know uh, was Z- Zane. Uh, Low, Zane it? Low, yeah. Zane Low went to Apple Radio. It was like the big mm. thing, and I remember I used to like Zane Low. He was, you know, he was he was good, bit mad right, out there, mm. great, great, great loads of energy. But mm. he, st- yep. he was basically given the keys to work for like Apple Radio, which mm. shape it. But what because keys, do you think they would be? Would it just, just be Apple? Not just be a f- no, be a fob. <laughs> yeah, be a fob, yeah, wouldn't Apple it? Fob. Um, mm. But because it was like it was a radio station that went out all over the world, because mm. it was obviously you got it on your phone. I think. Yeah. Um, it was nondescript, yeah, and it was hot. I hate that. I hate it when it's like, uh, well, yeah. it could be day, it could be night, it could be any time. Because I think that's the point of radio, that there is a relationship between the DJ and you, uh, that you're going through similar things. I know it's cold outside, and it's, it actually started going wrong. And I actually remember this when Dave was on Radio 1, when they started talking about... Blaming Dave. I'm blaming Dave okay. at the time. It was, and I can remember it, Lost was on the TV. Yeah. And... They couldn't talk about it because it was the first real show where mm-hmm. not everybody watched it at the same time. Yeah. It was like uh, on demand TV, yeah. and I just remember that being like the beginning of the end for that like conversation water cooler situation. Mm-hmm. And now it's the same thing. You you listen to people even on podcasts I listen to. They want oh have you played this game? Yeah, it's great, but we can't talk about it. Have you seen this film? Yes, mm-hmm. but we can't talk about it. And it's just like it's a shame though, isn't it? Because yeah. there's something really nice about discussing what. Whatever is of the moment, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, whether it is that series or whether you're talking about watching the Brit Awards the night before and Madonna falling off the stage or whatever yeah. it is, that sort of shared moment. But once you get into the fact that, oh, well, I'm on episode three and I'm on yeah. episode seven and, you know, and all this, it just ruins it somewhat, I think. And actually, you hit on a good point there, Baz, because that boxing thing... Yeah. On Friday mm. night one of them. was very, very is actually a really big sign that things like Netflix are, mm. are actually trying to buy into it in the moment now. Mm. They reckon yeah. 50, 60 million people bought it, and I know from like January, fifty nine million want the money back. Do, well, <laughs> yes, you watch watch something else. Mm. WWE starting in January on yeah, on, yeah, yeah. so they want that in demand thing, and that's where like as a football podcast we can go back to is that. Sport and football is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because all these streaming sites want you talking about it in the moment. I think he starts this mm. week on Netflix as well, the Saudi Pro League. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and all that. Oh, I can't wait what? to watch that. Exactly. That's that's what what that review. That. It's interesting. Oh, that. You, you on the payroll? I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first mention of it, and it came from you. I hope. Listen, if you, anyone is out there from Saudi wants me to have a Saudi section or maybe more than a game, get in touch. Um. We would, me and my missus were having this conversation. We went to the Empire the other week and we were talking. That's right. definitely live in the moment. It was live in the moment. Yeah. Um, but we were having a discussion about what you said about the radio. I remember Dave telling, I was ex- 
explaining that Dave Vitti had first mentioned this when he was working in Manchester as well. And he came in to see us that they don't talk about stuff local mm. now. They just don't yeah. do it mm. because it can be done there. Yeah. Anyway, so he was like, well, so they're not going to be up there. So, and I was like, no, no, they're in a different place. And that is sad, really, because you should have the aisle. I'm looking out the window and it's raining. Oh, you know, whatever or any, whatever it was. But also that with that whole rubbish. sense of locality and, and, you know, this mm-hmm. is kind of like a bigger question about radio and TV generally, but it is, yeah. it's that sense of locality is gone because, you know, you don't have, you know, your local Radio City, Piccadilly, Key One, mm-hmm. you know, all these sort of ones that were, were the heart blood of, of every sort of town and city. And now it's just a sort of, it's just one size fits all, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, and there's no community, is there? And no. like, he, he, like, I remember how big the Liverpool Echo like, used to be in Liverpool. It was like mm-hmm. a big deal. And like, if the, you know, if you go on the, the Echo website now, it feels like it's just like a migraine coming at your heads because it's yeah. just pop ups everywhere. And you're yeah. like, yeah. you feel like you're playing some terrible like phone game from the 1990s. <laughs> it's, it's, it's full awful. of articles that go, um, uh, what Colleen did next on Strictly will shock viewers. Or and it's like, what? What are you talking about? It's horrible. No, it and it's never shocking. You yeah. have a shot I mean, and you got to complete a quiz to get to the end of the yeah, video. You're, 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 you're I'm only, trying, I'm only trying to find yeah. out how, what the actors from Beverly Hills 90210 look like now. And, that, <laughs> yeah. and, that, and then the you put your fo- and then you you put your phone away, even though you got your phone on to do something mm. real. And then you think, well, I haven't phoned an ambulance, and now my nan's dead. And like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's I mean, just a nightmare. It's true, and also the, 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 the pictures of those people that is the, the only reason that you actually clicked on that thing <laughs> are on page 37. <laughs> you know, and you've got to scroll through all that shit beforehand, you know. And by, by the time by the time you get to page 25, you don't even know what you were first hooked in for anyway. You're just sort of no, but you're like one of those guys, vortex. one of those guys trying to get to the top of Everest, and you know you're gonna die, yeah. but you've come that far, you can't stop now. <laughs> you're yeah. going, you've got to carry you know, on past all the yeah. bodies and Corpses yeah. that you walk away. Where, where David Schwimmer lives now will shock you. <laughs> mm, yeah, I saw absolutely. The other day, thinking, yeah. Wow, yeah. This is Bold Street. It won't yeah, shock exactly. you. He's not in a bleeding doorway, is he? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to shock me at all. Oh, He's look at the student he wants. Smith down. Oh <laughs> my God! Yeah, a kebab off the Brook House. <laughs> That'd be all right for yeah, some of them, wouldn't it? Be, it? Will. Well, I, yeah, well, I, you know, I am going to talk about something that is in the moment but i'm a celeb started last i'm going to talk about it whether you want to or not because it just fits into what you just said because this isn't mm. i'm pretty certain no one's gonna say don't talk about i'm a celeb because i haven't watched it well, yet that's the point of it when isn't it, it is that it is so it is yeah. nightly it's, and it, and you can't miss it, it. and so if you do miss it you, there's no it is sort of one of those things mm. where we you can't apologize if you've missed it that's your fault yeah, definitely. that's not our fault well, I, I, also, it, also, I don't think as well yeah, and, but I think I think I think especially the first episode as well, and I don't know why. But I mean, I think to to an extent, once you get into it, if you do miss one, you can catch up the next night and mm. so on and so forth. But I think that the first episode is always one of those that people do always watch live, don't they? I don't know why, mm. but you know that whole thing about when they all arrive and they're yeah, all glammed yeah. up and they're stood around a pool or whatever like that. You know, this um, I watched there last night, Dave. I'm telling you, I will get you on that show within the next two years. <laughs> you are on it, mate. I'm telling you. Because I think you'd be good on it. But did anyone watch it or did I watch it on my own? Yeah, no, I watched it. I watched it. Okay. So I thought it was really good for an open mm-hmm. one. I mean, I haven't watched it, so don't spoil it, please. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> it's not <awesome. laughs> But I, I'll be honest, when we, I thought we, I thought yesterday, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow before it started. I didn't expect to be discussing the size of the snake in Danny's trousers, Dave. No. But, but that was a bit of a hairy moment on, on, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I well, mean, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who knows? I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, his regime well enough. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I would imagine that to be lying there in an enclosed space when was it, there was fifteen snakes, I think, in each one 15. of those compartments, mm-hmm. um, and he had one of them which was very much up his. Well, I mean, they, they joked about it being a trouser snake, and in many ways, yeah. it really was because it, it was really just was. it was coiled around his 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 Leg. parts. It's, um, it's, yeah. You know, but meanwhile, you then had uh, Barry McGuigan, bless him, who, who who didn't have his didn't have his bins with him, right? No. So he's trying to work out all these different padlock codes, but he can't see anything. So he was essentially working on the basis that if they all started from zero, then he yeah. was trying to work out, you know, kind can't. of like, well, if he goes up three or four, <laughs> then he's going to be on that. But the problem was he'd fiddled with them all, so That'd he was completely he was completely knackered. I mean, you know, but it was it was very entertaining. I thought. 
I felt sorry for him because it wasn't like he didn't do the challenge. He got in, no. he was buried underground with 15 yeah. snakes in the dark yeah. trying to do padlocks. And listen, if you've ever done an escape room, then padlocks are hard when it's light, trying to get yeah. them to line up. So laying there while snakes are on you, mm. was, uh, he had no chance, did he? He had no chance. He comes over as a good guy, though, I think, Barry McGregor. I think yeah. he's going to be good rally. Yeah, I think he was, uh, you could tell, oh, he was devastated, wasn't he? The yeah. competitiveness in him. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. He was like, he got nothing, and he was sort of like, oh, yeah, Danny got all the stars, and I didn't get any. You could see he was a bit uh, mm. a bit fuming. But, uh, would, no, you say, would you say that the level of celebrities has gone up on that show? Because from an outsider looking in, I don't really watch that show, but this was one of the few, well, the last few years I've kind of I think it's a good lineup this I've year. I've heard of them, mm. I've heard of them, and I've mm. heard of them, which I used to, it used mm. to be the opposite. Yeah, and I think it's actually genuine. I was thinking that last night when they, you know, when they sort of flashed up with the, that opening montage thing where they all turn around and go I like think, that. And yeah. stuff. I think the you famous. Know. I was watching that and I thought, actually, this is a this is a good. I think this is as strong a lineup as they've had in in it's many a be year. Good. What would your stance be, Dave? You know, like when you spin round, what, yeah. what would it be? Think about I it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know really what you've got to think what about. This. You've got to have. You've got to have a move, haven't you? You've got to have I'm a signature ready, move. Dave. So the, the trainer starts now. <laughs> What were you going to say, Pat? Yeah. I was going to say, I think, it, I think the lineup <laughs> is famous for all demographics, mm. as in, like, there's people on it who are famous to younger mm. people, and there'd be the people like Barry mm. McGregor for, yeah, for the yeah. older gen. So I think that's where it keeps it compelling. People will know who yeah. some people are. Mm. Um, you know, the young girl who... Uh, Elliot, Pat. Uh, she... What's Grace. her name? RJ... GK Barry. GK Barry. Whatever her name is. Grace Kelly Barry. Yeah. The one, the old fella who's so on the phone book on uh, Yellow Pages. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, she, w- she won't be known to many people, but mm-hmm. she completely destroyed herself in the first episode, didn't yeah. she? She completely did the owl, um, mm-hmm. the owl scream and everything, and, and for, you will be picked. Well, she, yeah. and again, but that can make you a star, as we saw from Jordan Lando. North. Jordan North, who was, who was on the wheel on Saturday night, shows how far yeah. he's come. See, he's Absolutely. on the wheel. Do you know what Jordan Jordan North? I kid you not. Used to be the lad who worked at Five Live, and when I used to go and do Richard Bacon's show many years ago in Salford, he was the one who would book me trains, and he kind of meet us at reception, and he'd let us in because he had the pass, and he'd make us a brew when we went upstairs, and he was just, as I say, he's always been a top top kid as Jordan. Oh, and actually, cool. I remember watching that. Was it a couple of years ago that he was yeah, in that? It was yeah, when they were yeah. still in Wales, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And and I remember watching it, thinking, I hope he does well. And actually, he's done brilliantly off the back of it. And I'm really pleased for him because he's a do good think, lad. That's do you nice. think he was ever tempted to ever go and work in a call centre for a bank, Dave? I don't know. I mean, no, I've, 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 I've yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just wanted a chat, that's all. What, you know, sliding you doors. You mean he was yeah. going one way with the career and then he just... Yeah, yeah, just sliding doors. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. know, you can never... You can be so different. close, you can't, yeah? Mm. You know, we've seen all the pictures of the nice. man. He's just about to get to the uh, diamonds, but he turns around yeah. and goes back. Yeah. That feels like that kind of scenario. It can happen. Mm. It can happen, mm. you know. And we've yeah. all probably experienced someone who... Or know someone who's done that. i tell you what you can't tell. They're all dying to ask Colleen... Everything about everything. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, night, yeah, yeah. Last yeah. night when they yeah. jumped. I mean, first before before you get before you get into this, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to go. I'm really, oh, really sorry. I was just sure. I, I'm since gone. I, I know, I know, gone. I know, I know. Well, I know. he did. He I've, come I've, on I've, late. I've, That's why. Do you know what? Can I just say? No, 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 no. That was that was entirely my fault because I was on the wrong. At the risk of like boring the the viewers with technicalities, I was on the wrong. I was on the wrong link for this. I was on last week's link and not this week's link. So I stayed there. Some of the viewers will be thinking, "We're on the wrong link." Listen to this right now. Well, I know, I know. (laughs) Anyway, I apologise. I'm I'm really going to have to go. I'm sorry. It feels like you've just been our celebrity um, correspondent. Really, you're you're basically the three AM girls, Dave. That's what you've done. There you go. There you go. That's 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 the, the role that. I want to play so I just um, want to fill that role yeah anyway I'm going to go I've got closing music and everything so I'm going to leave you thank you bye Dave see you Dave it's funny though with you just mentioned the Colleen bit there though Mm. because the the lad who is is he a DJ I think he's a DJ the Irish kid you're thinking, oh, yeah, he's on radio. They're all going to ask it at some stage, and yeah. he just run up and went, you're coming with me, wag at the Christie. He's funny. And I'm you thinking know. Vardy will be watching yeah. that fuming. Yeah. He's actually Very really fuming. funny, that lad. Oh, for radio. It was when the other one, the one that I think is on BBC, on the news, like, current affairs, I can't remember her name. And she went in. She went, when did you have your first baby? She had 23. She went, was that Wayne's? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. what? What? Colleen was like, yeah, what was it? Was? Oh, Jane, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jane, yeah. someone. Jane Moore. Jane Moore. Jane Moore. 
and English team. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. But but you have, but you haven't watched it yet, Sam. So there you go. No, I I haven't watched it since Jordan and uh, what's the face got together. Uh, what's oh, his name? Peter Andre. Yeah. Peter you know what, Andre. That was like twenty years ago, it. wasn't it? I wouldn't watch it. Then I started watching it when they went into the castle in Wales, and I much preferred that setting. I thought that was a much better setting right. for me because it was cold, and I thought oh, here's going on Aldi in in November. But it's only that Colleen's on it that obviously me missus wants to watch it because Colleen's yeah. on it and, and stuff. So it'll be it's a back, it's a background program for me. Yeah, I like it's it. a back. I like program. it because it's you can put it on. It's funny, and it's easy to watch. You don't have to well, invest. That's like, it. And you know what I mean? I think, like, background or where you're dipping and dip out and you can mm. be doing something else while it's on, that's really good because I tend to only watch telly when I'm sitting down with a really heavy box set where you've got to pay attention to every yeah. single scene. And that's, like, that's as draining as, like, working, isn't it? You want to... I'm not... The way you said that, cool. Sam, a really heavy box set sounded like you were <laughs> you were off on the sick. And you're like, oh, I've got this really <laughs> heavy box set and the doctor said it's going to take a couple of weeks. <laughs> Sit and watch telly, lad. <laughs> Heavy box sets was when it was like on VHS, wasn't it? Yeah. When they were literally physically heavy, but they yeah. were yeah. rare, yeah. rare, rarely. Really. You could where, 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 get somewhere in a minute. Yeah. Do you they watch rare, Love though. Island? No, never. not a chance. I, I, right, so I don't watch it. My wife doesn't watch it. We both sort of made this like like stance against that. Oh, that show looks rubbish. And then she started watching it one year, and then I was like, "You're not watching this, are you? This is rubbish. You've let yourself down." And we like, you know, we're laughing about it. And then and then she she left the room, and I was still in the room, and it was on. And then she stayed upstairs for ages, and I just watched it for about forty minutes on my own, and I, and I got sucked in like big oh, time. No. I was like, "What has happened here?" It's because it is compelling television. Yeah, the one thing that. I can't, I no. can't have like dating programs no. or Love Island yeah. shite or not. Yeah. And I'm like, just that's just shouldn't be on TV. Yeah. I'm sorry for me, it's just for me. I just I hate it honestly. No, it comes on. It's I, lowest the common. It's the, just the terrible. Oh yeah, who I, cares I mean, whether I'm... someone gets with someone? I I couldn't give a. Yeah, but Sam will see. So fair play. Like it, so fair play. A lot in of my defence, I've not gone back to it. I've just, I, but I was sucked in, and I could, I felt like I was just like, you know, the dealer would give me one free hit, and I was like, oh, hang on, this is a fork in the road here. I need to go back to watching the surprise. I used to love this Big Brother years ago. Loved it. Mm-hmm. Watched it every year till it went from Channel Four. And I was like, ah, oh, because it was easy to watch and all that. Put it on, it's a laugh. And then I was like, Channel 5 will buy that. And my missus was like, no, I'd stand. I was going, Channel 5 will buy it because it's a guarantee. And then he bought it. And I've just never, ever been able no. to watch it since. It was on the other week, actually. It's on ITV, no? It's ITV or whatever it's on. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's on ITV too, actually, yeah. I think it is. Right. But we were watching something and it finished. We'd recorded something and it finished. While I was making the drink, it was on. So we must have had the channel on and it was on. Watched it for about five minutes and was like, "Yeah, I could not. Same, I cannot be." It's, it's because it was. They all, they all know what because it was mean. a social experiment. Yeah, and, that, and mm. then people got famous, so people go in there to be famous, and no one gets famous off it because no one watches it like that mm. anymore. But it is mm. funny going back to what we were saying before: is television tried to jump into obviously heavy shows where you were watching for loads, and I mean, let's be, let, then them first one started like Lost, twenty two episodes. Mm. Like you know, how how can you feel? 40 minute shows 22 episodes of them for an, and you've got to you've got to write that and there's so many fillers in that and it's funny how, how TV has come full circle now and it's tra- desperately trying to get back to live content because they know you have to watch it on demand mm. and it means everyone's talking about it on yeah. social media mm. and you're sharing what you're watching and obviously then that brings the, the ad revenue in because that's obviously the, thing, the ad revenue yeah they don't want huge. on demand because obviously no. the ad revenue is not not the same, mm. even though some of the uh, companies have started adding adverts to bastards to shows. I but it's that. funny. But that can only be good for sport, can't it? Can only be good for football if if we're gonna have that. Like if we're gonna have people wanting to walk, to stream like the Premier League and stuff, it's only gonna be good. You know, it's not gonna be long. I know Netflix with something like WWE, they are gonna make an absolute killing off it. And I think I showed that with the boxing the other day. Um, but hopefully football at some point, Premier League football, we get that as well because it's not working the way it is at the moment. Not working when some fellow wants to bang on your door and arrest you because you just want to watch Everton away and it's not yeah. on telly and you can't yeah. go. It's mad. Which is Isn't punishment. That, that just it's, mad? Because that's the punishment as well as the crime, isn't it? Watching yeah. Everton away. Yeah. That's, you don't need further 
steps to be taken. Yeah, imagine that you got to the you got in front of the, the judge and he was just like, "Time saved, lad. You've been in Everton for thirty years. That's definitely time saved." <laughs> it is. It is crazy, isn't it? When you look at what's available in other things that the Premier League. We keep saying it, but the Premier League haven't got their own app that allows you to just watch games for every team. It's never ever stopping people going to match. It just isn't. No, no. There's enough well, demand for when everybody. You, you know when you speak to fans who live around the world as well, I've got mates in Australia and America mm. and they're like Everton fans and they're like watching mm. all the games live and you're like, I can't do that. I can't mm. I can't do that legally because it's not available, yeah. which is ridiculous. And it's like the games are sold out. It's mm. not like it, it used to, you know, it would have affected the attendance years back, which is why that rule was in place, wasn't it? But it's a different world, isn't it? And they mm. just need to the amount of money they could make off a of like a Netflix style yeah. Like hub or just put it on something like a Netflix or a Prime, you know, that mm-hmm. people have anyway. Well, on Saturday, there was um, there was no 3 p.m. blackout, mm. and Sky actually made like a big thing of it no 3 p.m. 3 p.m. blackout today. And it was like, so there was games on, and Rex and were on, and a few others. And you're like, oh, so what's, what's... the places where would be, yeah. might possibly be affected? Yeah, so people are going, yeah, so it's all right, yeah, it's yeah, it's plenty of it's mad. Nonsense. It's mad. It's absolutely nonsense. You should be able to buy any game on the day or have a subscription, like you say. We've done it before. The numbers add up. Hmm? You know, subscription, £10 a month, whatever, or 15 quid a month, and you can get every game. The tons of get it. They make more money than they're getting hmm. anyway now. I think that now Netflix are in that market, and after, as I said, Friday, I watched, like, I seen it was on, so I just thought I'll have a little look, and I, I didn't watch the main event. I was mm. never going to watch that because it's just nonsense. But I did see... At 5 a.m. I did see sort of the last big fight, mm. which was really, really good. And I thought, I thought, well, this works. I have Netflix. Most people, like, I don't... I don't. I know people pick and choose with a lot of the streaming services, mm. but I think one, Netflix is one of those ones. I mean, I think it is the one that people just have, don't they? Because there's something for everything on it, and mm. people just want... And the, there's, like, games and stuff on it now. So if they're putting live content on it, it's it's only going to go one way, and they're going to keep on buying more mm. and more live content. And if you can imagine easily having the Premier League and it being all around the world, so... And they had Kate Abdu on it, so... How did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah she that, was... If Netflix get the Premier League, does that... Will we be able to watch Everton games on Times 2? <laughs> um, would that Not the live speed, ones, obviously. Would that make us... Would that make our play <laughs> normal speed? Yeah. Awesome. Probably, yeah. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> interesting, wouldn't it? It's right, McNeil's got a lot of pace today, hasn't he? Yeah. He's flying. It's right, McNeil's Ben Goffley now. Yeah. The um, it is because the way Apple do it, because obviously I watch MLS on Apple, and theirs is brilliant. So they have like a studio. Show. I've said this before; it's not new, but they have a studio show. Yeah. Where they just go to the machine and having a They just go to the whenever there's a goal scored. Yeah. They just go and show you the goal and this, that, and the other. Yeah. Then they're discussing the games, but as well as that, underneath you've just got the choice of any game. Yeah. And what mm. I think Prime probably do this as well, but. Obviously, if you put a game on 20 minutes in, it's 1-0. You just go and look at the goal and then just catch yeah. back up. And it's it's dead easy. You can do it on your phone or you can watch it on your telly. It's brilliant. And that should be the model for everyone. Everybody should be able to do that. Then you wouldn't get people at the BBC getting away with looking at images of kids and some fella who's selling fire sticks gets sent to prison for three and a half years. Do you know what I mean? So that took a really dark yeah. turn. But really, just because really both quickly. of them were in, were in the news last week, and someone enabling and footy fans just to watch their team at three, hmm? and someone break like you know massively worse stuff. In my opinion, is it? Uh, I think in most people's opinion. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't speak for everybody. Okay. The same, me. Apart um, from the judge. Apart from the judge. And the judge. The judge uh, didn't. The judge wasn't bad for the judge. Apparently. Uh, uh, so they'll be saying that the pe- people who are guilty of crimes that don't don't get a custodial sentence, we need to somehow get them involved in selling dodgy fire sticks as well, yeah. so that they do mm-hmm. get sent for some serious bed. She really, yeah. If the police are feeling frustrated that they've got this felony, can't just plant a fire just stick. Straight so. Like, yeah. you know what? Make yourself a few bots. So, Sell these fire right, sticks. So I'm going to so like, no, but you know the way in like films where like the films they go, they'd want to bang someone up, so they go, 
oh, so they get this. What's this in your pocket? Yeah. And it'd be like either a little baggie or like a, we found we found this in the boot of his car. And the next time it'll just be a fire stick. Yeah. So just he's nope. got an Amazon fire stick, everybody. <laughs> five, five, five. Got an Amazon fire stick. We got him. We got him. We got him. You're down. Yeah. You're going down, buddy. Obama. Obama yeah. selling fight. No, he's just remember, we got him. We got him. Mm. But it'd just be Obama. it'd just be uh, bin Laden <laughs> with a fire stick across his chest. <laughs> okay. Being a dark fire I stick. Shaking. Bin Laden mm. wasn't he has gone full cheap back in his living. No, but that's how they get him. They were oh, struggling for was, years. And was, then oh, just like, so they wanted he, to plant fire sticks. They traced fire sticks back to his compound. That's how they actually oh. got him. Was Bin Laden the first vlogger, do you think? From Did his cave. pioneer the form? What, from his cave, this, yeah. I couldn't understand, right, why sometimes yeah. I've got, like, high-speed cable, yeah. right? <laughs> and there's all sorts of these places mm. around. And my cable plays up. Yeah. Yet Bin Laden in a cave yeah. at yeah. full signal. How? With a so, box of scraps. Is so, he... Is he I'm Joe, sorry. Was this, like, engineers, like... No, what it was... So was far no, no. What is that? He, he just had... He had... Um, remember when we were kids and downstairs... I, I mean, I, again, I'm maybe massively speaking for myself here, but downstairs you'd have, like, a cable box or a sky box and you used to run a lead up to your bedroom. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, and then but uh, you had yeah. to watch whatever, whatever they were watching. Downstairs. And obviously, if you were watching the 10-minute preview upstairs, then <laughs> they, watch it, they could yeah. see it downstairs. That's, a big That's what I was told by friends. Mm. Um... <laughs> Well, he had a really, really long cable. Really, really long cable. He had the, he had the, the long only lead. person in in Afghanistan had, uh, who had, like, had dial-up. Yeah. Uh, did that up? cable go all the way up to Queen's Drive in Liverpool? It went all the way across three continents to it's, his cave. You know, we never yeah. had that thing of like, what does this wire do? Did no one ever do that? What's this? <laughs> what's this? this? So you got and a box of wires and, and you start pulling going, what's this wire from? Where's this come from? And then you throw it away and then someone goes, that was the wire to connect Sky upstairs. But what they were doing was yeah. they literally followed the wire to the compound. That's, that's how they caught him. Jess, Jessica yeah. Chapdane, that's how they got him in the film. He really should that's have. That's how they got him. Should have um, camouflaged this wire. Yeah. The, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's a euphemism it's not. or what. But he had, I don't know how many wives he had. Maybe he should have been camouflaging his wire. Put but... a bit of sand on your wire. That's what they say. <laughs> Cover it up. So it the authorities can see with it. The si- messes with the signal, though. I feel like it would. I feel like a bit of sand on it would yeah. mess with the signal. Gets everywhere. Yeah. It'd stop no. it doing its job, wouldn't it? Mm. Really. Don't feel anything. No. no. Chafing. No. But he did, wire. he did really well. It almost feels like he wasn't in a cave. And maybe he was in a studio somewhere. That looked like a cave. And it wasn't actually him. It was green screen. And it was, was, Seb, it, was, it was it, Seb Ben Kingsley. Was it AI ahead of its time? Did you just was it AI? AI I think he may have AI'd it. AI was the future then and now. Well, there was... Well, all of, I'm in Terminator thinking two here. The, um, there's been a lot of talk. Listen, of course, they talk every day about AI. AI is incredible, the speed it's moving at. Mm. Um, ben Affleck's been speaking about it. Oh, but, well, I mean, listen... When I'm talking AI, Ben Affleck is the first person I go to. Mm. When I want a bit of Definitely. AI news, he's Wild the first person. He's, 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 he used to be my go-to that. guy for having a really, really intelligent best friend in Boston that uh, who worked as a janitor yeah, in that. MIT mm. and then one day was given a card and then decided to go see about a girl in the other side of the country. He used to be my man for that. Mm. Then he was my man for Batman. Mm. Now he's my AI man. Yeah, AI expert. Yeah. But what he was saying was, he was asked about AI and is he worried that it'll basically just replace J-Lo in films. Not replace J-Lo, she's got other issues as far as I'm aware. Um, videos <laughs> and stuff. Um, wrong place and all that. But he was, t- unless that was put together with AI, who knows? <laughs> who knows? We'll have to speak to Was it on the block? It might have been. Maybe yeah. she was just still from the block. Um, but he was saying there's no chance AI will replace actors and make him film, mm. blah de blah de blah But it is, it's, what he did say was it'll replace, obviously, visual effects or reduce people who work in that, because obviously it's easy. But is there a fear, you being a avid film watcher, mm. is there a time that you think someone will just build a film that could be, could be, as good as what no. actors make. Because this is what he said. No, he no. said there's no way it can recreate yeah. something, but it will never be the same as actors interacting well, within situations. No, yeah, yes and no. I mean, part of the reason why the actors actually went on strike early on this year and the writers was because of AI, because mm. um, 
to stop AI like do redoing scripts and stuff like that. So it is like it you can't you can't make films with AI. It's it's basically against the law. Um, but yeah, they'll use it for. I'm sure they'll use it for some things. But mm. it should be. I imagine it'll be a tool to help people. But I don't think it's. It hasn't got the nuances, has it? To, That's to, really shame, it hasn't got the nuances. We've seen it ourselves with stuff we use. It's like you use it and it's going dead good and then suddenly it's it just off. rears off. And well, there's a picture you... of me. If I can just get on the screen. Oh, That's yeah. an AI, I, I did, sorry. That's an yeah. AI version of me. I yeah. look like Harold Bishop. <laughs> mm. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I'm quite pleased with that because it looks worse than what I look like in real life. And it's not mm. often I see a bald man that does look worse than me in real life. So it's gave me a little confidence boost. But it's I don't want to I don't want to watch or listen to music, for instance, that's made by a robot. I just don't mm. want to listen yeah. to it. I just I, well, it's got to be that personal, like creative side. Well, you've of just it been saying, haven't you, Sam? There was your on your Spotify. There was a yeah AI. So go ahead. It's an AI DJ. I didn't know what it was. It was this thing, and it said DJ X. I was like, "What's that?" And I pressed on it, and this this thing appeared on my screen, and it started talking to me in this American accent, going, "Hey Sam, I'm DJ X, your AI DJ." And I was like, "This is terrifying." And then he started busting out some of the best tunes I've ever heard because mm. it's based on my listening history, so it's all stuff yeah. I like. And it, yeah. and then he'll go, "Now we're going to go back to 2022 with some hidden classics," and he'll play songs that I'd forgotten about. Yeah. So. The scary part wasn't the fact that it was existing. The scary part was that it was actually quite good. And that, that made me feel a little bit disappointed in myself. Mm. But that's literally just repeating what you like, isn't it? It's just remembering. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, so, that's yeah. I mean, that's an algorithm that most yeah. of them use now, isn't it? Where there's yeah, like yeah. your playlist, it's remembrance, just adding a bit of context to it and stuff. Mm. But no, it's, it's, um, it is, it is getting like a little bit scary, isn't it? Just some of the stuff it, it, um, you know, it's it's all on our phones. The one I don't like, and I've seen, I think it's the Google phone, isn't it? And again, it's like a form of AI. It's that one where it takes a picture, but it can if you aren't smiling on, it can remove, it can change your head, mm. so you are smiling. Yeah. Or there's or it, there's like a picture, and you're not in the picture, and then it adds to you the picture, and it's like that's not real. No. That's, that's not, not life. Real. No, that's not real like, life. I wasn't. I wasn't in that picture. The whole point of a picture is to yeah. capture a memory, and that's it, not a moment. real memory. And I, if I wasn't smiling in that picture, so be it. I, you know, and you know, yeah. or whatever it is, like, or it'll take your head from one picture and put it in another. That's fine if you're trying to make a joke or yeah, you're taking the piss on something. You know, I'll send you pictures where, I, or we do it for the thumbnail where you're swapping someone's head. Yeah, yeah. my but my head real... gets swapped a lot. I like that. Yeah. I like it in, yeah. in a comical sense. Yeah, not it's last not week. That, that was really you. I, I that was, was real. Yeah, yeah, that was real. That was real. I was in a school last week. I'm sorry, as a girl, wasn't I? <laughs> sorry, what? You don't with a teacher breathing over me. I mean, are we to- are we talking about the same thing here? Well, the thumbnail. You oh, sorry, sorry. I thought we were talking about something. Com- don't, don't know what we were talking about then. No, but that's not real. And that's for them to go and to go- them and try and sell that to you. Yeah. I, I mean, I know people talk about the scary side of like AI, but mm. that to me is the scary side. Just don't be trying to make it look like I, I, I have got this memory of something that I never that did. Because where does I that even there? Like, I went on holiday to this place. No, you didn't. Oh, I did. Look, I, there's a picture of me mm. there. That's not. It's not real life. It's like yeah. I, AI can be good for some things, of course it can, to help us all, and um, to help us with our workload and everything. And of course, you know, people go, oh, yeah, but you, you get me the people. We were talking about the other day, weren't we? Everton had introduced something to the stadium, and it was the debate of, of whether, you know, you'll be able to walk into a shop, Sam, into the, in the new ground, basically pick something up. Um, the, you know, as long as you've got um, a certain app on your phone, that all the sensors and cameras in the shop will, will basically sense that you've got this app take the money off yet and that will open the gate to let you go out right so you, uh, right so there's a whole debate and i appreciate that there's a whole debate over whether that's taking people's jobs off them some people might say well no because if we've got 500 people who work in this building no matter what and if that means that two we've got two less people can go and work on a really busy counter mm-hmm. i don't know that's a that's a but but that's that's yeah. a th- well that's, that's a thing uh, what, what ai should be doing is freeing up our time and our space yeah. and our energy yeah. for something that's actually worthwhile if it just takes it off us and doesn't give anything back then yeah. it's pointless isn't it but it's also, just if it's... humanity but wasn't those 
that that shop model wasn't there a, an Amazon shop somewhere in America where they did that and and it was like the first shop where you don't have to pay for anything yeah centers everything but then didn't they find out that it was all done through like a sweatshop in India people were watching stuff on cameras and taking money I'm sure there was See, some kind of dodgy thing yeah there's oh, probably man. something like that isn't it that it all looks like on the outside that it is all real and but really it's uh it's, it's yeah, chaos it's, in some it's house not somewhere. Real whatsoever it's like people urgently trying to <laughs> You know, do bank things straight. Uh, well, it's all real, but who knows? But you know, listen, the robots are going to kill us all one day. Well, anyway, c- can I tell you something that's kind of appropriate on. for on, on a couple of points there? Which is that me, I was talking to my mum this morning, and she was she was saying we were talking about AI with my mum. My mum was obviously, you know, she's in her seventies. She's she's coming at it from a slightly different angle, but she was terrified as well of all the the future, you know, you know, calculations and all sort of stuff that could happen. But then she was telling me that she'd been watching on BBC Four. There was a uh, 1984 George Orwell's book, which kind of predicts everything terrible. Mm. Mm. They showed a, 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 a like a read novel from the 50s made by the BBC. So it's obviously really, really badly made, and like you know, well not badly made, but it's like it doesn't you know it hasn't translated to the modern day. But the content's still there. But anyway, before this like broadcast goes on, the BBC announcer goes on, she was telling me, and, you know, in this proper BBC voice from the 50s, and he gives this warning, he says, I'd just like to warn viewers that the following programme contains no hope. <laughs> Which, and I said, can we play that before Z Cars as we walk out of Bramley Moor? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know when people are saying, oh, you, would, you wouldn't get that today, to, everyone's too soft today, but in the 50s, they had a warning that the show contained no hope, and I thought that was oh. quite interesting. It is, it's mad. Hasn't it been lovely with no footy this weekend for them and Evan? It's been great. Just to reset, I think it is. Because we go into now, obviously we're going into <laughs> hugely busy time now. That's That was the last international break, mm-hmm. obviously, Good until match. March. Uh, and December is particularly clogged with games of football. Um, although this beast from everywhere is coming in to switch snow and ice yeah. and all that, that they reckon. Uh, we could have hopefully over Christmas. All the games will be cancelled. It'll be lovely. He won't. Um, but there is going into a busy spell, so we're not going to really have time to catch our breath with the the next game coming up. So this this weekend was a uh, was really nice. I think yeah. had a nice break. I had went and done some other stuff. Went and bought a new mattress yesterday and got to lay on a bed while it assessed the where. You know where the mattress needed to be. Where the other half? Well, not really. It was in. It was in dreams, so you can go. Anyone can go and do it. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like anyone else can go it's and do it. The corner from yours, you could literally go and do it if you wanted. What have you gone but for, Baz? What, what kind, is it? A memory foam one? Is it? Not a memory. It's a combination one. So it's memory foam split with spring. Apparently, they're the they're the. I don't know. They're the rage at the moment. The sh- Sam, to be honest, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't. I mean, the real shit it would have been the ones that were three times the price I paid for my <laughs> Um, You know, crazy. So the cost I, of them a bit. I wanted. Sorry, I, there was this one where you press a button and the telly comes out the bottom of the bed. It wouldn't oh have yeah, they my, wouldn't have fitted in ours for a start. Too small. It looked amazing, but you look and go. Yeah. That, that's strictly not a mattress, though, is it? But it's a bed. Yeah, With yeah. The mattress. On yeah, the I. I Buying a yeah, mattress is always. I always. I. I have this slightly uh, gloomy uh, sort of inner monologue when I'm buying a mattress. I always think, how many mattresses have I got left in me? <laughs> and I always think, yes, like, I, I reckon I've got. I reckon I've got three left. I'm in like me. that when I buy coffee. <laughs> three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you, you three till you upgrade to a forty six now. Yeah. Will I live to see forty seven? The way things are going, I don't know. Um. But it's like a mattress with... lasts about twelve years, doesn't it? Or yeah. how long? Do you, how long should you have a mattress for? I don't know. You reckon they place it every eight years? Eight years. Very right. pissed. Maybe I'm That's four. what it said. I mean, mm. I don't know. I'm saying. Did he become more piss stained as you get older? <laughs> My mind doesn't know, but I mean, I can't speak for you or other people. I'm just asking a general question. I'm just saying, is it like as you get older, there's like an age thing for them? I don't know. Well, idea. This is more suitable for people in the seventies because it's got a Teflon coating. The piss will just roll off, and they just call it your last mattress. <laughs> oh, imagine that! Yeah, like when you're a kid and you get like my first my doll. Face. My first. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if they go share or madam. I've, 
perfect matches. And you go over to a section yeah. that is literally your last the day. The day, the last day you use it, a little ticket to Switzerland just pops out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just see the printer like firing clear, up, and you're like, a clear What's thing that? just comes over the top of you. Yeah, and like gas God. just slowly emerges out of it. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm thinking there's a market for it. I think there's a market. I mean, listen, it's going through the. Co- it's going through. Say, isn't it here, it's that? going through the comments soon. Yeah, I mean, we might yeah. have beds that literally go. This is your last bed. Press this tips, button. Tips it up. Tips it onto the motorway. Just gradually. You could sell them in the Everton shop. <laughs> Why would Everton sell them? Because <laughs> we've got the core demographic. Uh, me and my mate used to have this idea about a theme park that is like if you can't afford Dignitas, you go to this theme park and it's just all the rides are they're dangerous but they're really oh. exciting. So it's a great way if you it that way inclined, you're like, Well, I might fall mm. off, but it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. And it's just like ah! <laughs> Have you ever there's a documentary, Sam on um it's on Sky, it's been on Sky for two or three years. It's called Class Action Park and it's about okay. this. It's about this, um, like, uh, summer park in America. It's in, like, New Jersey. And it was, like, all outdoor stuff. Got slides, swimming pools and everything. But all the uh, all the pools are... It's all natural. So it's the freezing cold. It's oh. all it's all wa- fresh water. It's freezing cold. But there's, like, tales and legends about this park because it was the most unsafe place ever. And, like, oh. people did actually die there. But they used down. to say that there was this... So, like, you know, you imagine going down, like, a a, a slide, a box slide. You know, we've been on the mall. I mean, holiday parks and everything. But he was, these things are the most poorly... Like, these things are, like... Remember when you'd ever see, like, an episode of Simpsons when Bart would, like, go on, like, the biggest ride he could and you just see, like, sheer drops and everything? Yeah. These... There's a slide in there that literally was that, but it has, like, loops in it. And someone said that... I was watching this documentary, and someone says in the documentary that they, got, they went down it and... They went around this loop and they felt a cu- something nick them and they were cut and they tried to find out what it was and when they found out it was it was where all people's teeth had been lodged. Oh my god. In this slide. <laughs> and you, I'm not joking. This is this is obviously I've gotta watch this. Gotta that's watch it. The place was called Action Park, but the document's called Class Action Park, because that's oh, how many times it's been sued. Yeah. yeah, and people's teeth They'd go round and people's teeth would get lodged oh as they God. smashed into the roof of it. And people then were starting to get cut by the teeth. Oh, Other God, people's just... teeth. Could you imagine Grotesque. how absolutely disgusting? <sighs> and then when you and then when you go down, you've either lost teeth or you've been cut and you end up in a pool that is not getting cleaned, <laughs> that is fresh water, <laughs> no. that is shared no. by other people. No. Could you imagine no. how no. bad it's cool as well, no. but like Disney, didn't it? Oh, oh Honestly, you've God. got but like everything but they said that the park was literally run by like teenagers. As well. Wow. So, wow. like, the oldest person in there would probably be, like, 22, 23, and be, like, the boss. Oh, so, honestly, you've got to watch this documentary. It's absolutely I've got to watch, phenomenal. I've it down, no, so I've got to watch it's that. phenomenal. Can, no, can I... It's got... Go on. When, when, when um, it was in the summer, me and the family went to Mallorca, and we, we took the kids out of school for a week, and then we had half time for a week. So, we went to this holiday uh, water park in Mallorca called Splash World, I think it's called, and it was empty because it was... This kids weren't off school, so it was, there was no oh, yeah. queues. It was boss, and we were just you know getting on everything dead quick. And there's one called the King Cobra, which has got two slides. And like, so I went down one side. Me, me lad, me nine year old lad went down the other one. I get to the bottom, and he doesn't come out. And I'm like, where is he? And my wife had already gone down with me other lads, and they said, oh, it took took Ben a bit longer to come out because he's obviously not you know they're lighter than us. So we wait five seconds, we wait another five seconds. Ten seconds is a long time, and when you're waiting for your kids to come out of this dead high water slide. Absolutely. 20 seconds, nothing. So then I'm like, I'm looking at the guy at the top, I'm like, where's my lad? And he's going, oh, he's got stuck. And he got stuck in the ride. So then my wife's like panicking. She's running up the stairs. As you would. The guy's walking down the, the slide on the outside, holding on. He pulls me lad back to the top, and I'm like, oh, thank God that's over. And then he pushes him down again. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets stuck again. Oh, and then the fella's climbing God. down again. And by, at this point, like it's like this is like an episode of 999 with Michael Burke. There's a top. Oh, what reference. a show! And then anyway, this goes on. It's probably about a minute and a half in total, but it feels like the end of my life. It's just horrific. Mm. And then after about a minute and a half, my lad comes flying down the, the off the bottom, and he's had he's had the best time. He's like, yes. Oh, but my God. God. 
And we went back to the hotel and like we were oh, telling God. everyone about this. And everyone was saying, oh, we went the other week and, uh, you know, someone got stuck then and people are always getting stuck on this ride. So I don't know what's going on, but I would just, like, any caution to any listeners, don't go on the King Cobra at Aqualand in Mallorca. That's the end of this public service announcement. Thank you. There you go. Doesn't sound great, does it? Mm. I'm surprised you're not in the same jail as the fellow with the fire stick for taking the kids out of school. <laughs> yeah, everyone. And hell, yeah. Uh, what you're in for now. Do you reckon Shout. they have a wing, a wing in a prison where people who've just been like, convicted of crap crimes go? go. That'd be a good sitcom, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Just rubbish like, crime. Call it Jag Wing or something. <laughs> and it's just, you've got like fire stick people, you've got, I don't know, that, can't think. That would definitely have been pitched in the eighties, wouldn't it? With um, what was the other one with with uh, the theme tune was H A P P Y porridge. No, that's that's literally different. That's not the same. Thing. Oh, the one when they're in, they're all in yeah, hospital. They're in hospital. They're and, all in hospital, yeah. and they're all in there for ages, and it's horrible. horrible. It's this, horrible. He's the piece. It's a piece of. And I, I only, yeah, yeah. And I only remember it because it, it was just look dead, mm. dead crap, and it had that theme music, yeah. and it was just men. I hate HP. Yeah, yeah. Why? It was just men lying in bed in a horrible hospital wing in hospital for weeks. Yeah. No, but it, it went on for ages, and it's just like because it was a sick It's like duty free. They were when, when, when are you coming home? Duty free. <laughs> when are you coming <laughs> home? So like, surely they could come up with a, a comedy set in a prison where it's like, what are you in for? And it's like. Firestick. People watching I, Sky on mm, fire. I moved. I moved the hedgehog from my garden in the wrong manner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I bought you know because you're not allowed mm. to put hedgehogs where they shouldn't be. No, where they shouldn't. In a blender. <laughs> no, no. Are we talking pet no. shop boys territory? No. Here? no. <laughs> if you want, Richard Gere, you, you watching something last year with uh, and Vinny Jones has got a farm, and he yeah. and he was trying to he's trying to create like nature, like he wants of more things. But they I. Not with AI. And he wanted the hedgehog. He went to a hedgehog sanctuary. Sanctuary. To a hedgehog sanctuary. Yeah. To try and get hedgehogs. And yeah. they were like, yeah, great. And he was made up. And then mm. she went, right, like, where about are you? And he gave her the thing. She said, oh, no, you can't put them there because yeah. they're close to a road. Yeah. Not allowed to. Makes blah, sense. Blah, whatever. Well, it does sort of make yeah. sense. So maybe it could be someone who didn't realise you couldn't put them in on your property. That's too close to this. Yeah. And they get arrested and put in. So you've got them. Could have them, yeah. Could be like people who, I don't know. What about believe. someone who? What about someone who flushed the train toilet whilst in the station? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, or went on the plane out. while the plane stationary hasn't took off. You can't use the toilet and went used the toilet and got didn't put the seatbelts on. And people weren't happy and thrown in for that. Yeah. Or someone who took their USB stick out before ejecting software. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Didn't even though there's a warning. Didn't put the said. plane on air. air Play didn't mode. Put phone on airplane yeah. mode. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh. Get you six months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we should pitch this, to be honest. <laughs> it could work. It or could maybe work. just bin it. I don't know. One of the two. Drove their goats across a bridge from Wales to <laughs> England without being some kind of knight or something. Sort of bylaw. Yeah. yeah. Man, taught, I taught a cow how to walk up pro- across one of those gates, the, the, the cattle grid. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't ask a chicken why he crossed the road. Mm. Went That's around Coventry. Naked on a horse. That's been done. I know, but it's been done. Throw a prison for it. Could you? Yeah. Okay. It's not. I'd... I mean, really. UK gold are all over this, by the way. I mean, UK gold. UK are gold. Having... They're all over this. They're having it. They're having this. They want Sam to be the main. <laughs> they're having it, whether they want it or not. They're having yeah. it. <laughs> they're taking it. They're taking it. Sam, I, I saw last week a couple of your posts just before we finish. Mm-hmm. Saw a couple of your posts last week. You'd done a gig and you were testing jokes as comedians do testing some new material right so as yeah. a comedian do you have like a set amount of que- like jokes and it's like i'll try out it like it very much like you know market research if you like so if you do because you're thinking what joke lands and what doesn't what's the most awkward moment you've ever had on stage and how did you recover from it so well, you told a joke uh, that you think is funny yeah it just hasn't I, happened and you think there's, there's, oh. there's so so many to choose from to be honest, Buzz. Oh, okay. Uh, but the the thing is, the longer you do stand up, the less bothered you get about awkward moments. Uh, oh, certainly okay. in certainly in new material nights, because you can't afford to be going. Oh God, I, f- I didn't work because it's you've got to treat it a little bit like uh, it is like market research in a way. Because you think, mm. well, I think all of this is funny, mm. but let's see how much they find funny. And the bits that we both find funny, then 
that that's got potential or I can keep. Sometimes a bit doesn't work and you go, that didn't work because I didn't say the right punchline or I fluffed the, the build up or maybe the, the, the previous three ideas didn't work. So th- there was no energy in the room. And so you give it another chance. But I suppose I've, I've written loads of bits over the, t- over the years where I've thought that's not just funny. That is clever as well. It's mm. funny and it's clever. And then I say it out loud and I realize very quickly it's neither of those things. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's crap and it's unfunny. There's also, there's a, you know, there's a way you can sort of build tension in a comedic way and build a real tension in the room. And then with the right punchline, you pop the tensions like you're blowing a balloon up. And then you just go with the right punchline. And it's a beautiful moment where everyone relaxes and laughs and there's this relief. But sometimes if the punchline's wrong, you build the tension. And when you go to burst the tension, you make the tension worse. And then you've got nowhere to go then. And you just got to go, that didn't work. And everyone goes, no, it didn't. And you go, yeah, it doesn't matter. And then move on to the next bit. But obviously, what you want to do is you want to get to the point where when people are paying proper money to come and see you, everything is like nine or 10 out of 10 rather than I'm having a go, you know? Yeah. All right. Here's the last one then. What's the most. Have you ever told a joke or a scenario, like a scenario, to, you know, joke for want of a better word, but where. You thought, I'll try this. I'm not sure it's that you know, people are gonna find it funny, so to speak. And it was it everyone just you were like surprised by how funny people found it, or conversely, one that you've thought this is everyone's gonna love this. I'm telling you right now, this is this is brilliant and there's been like silence in the room. Oh yeah. Have you got yeah. an example of either of them? Well, so the second one all the yeah. time. Every everything when you write it, you think that's funny. Otherwise, you yeah. wouldn't write it down. And then, but then you try it out, and you sometimes you lose faith mid sentence, and you go, "Oh God, this is crap in it." Now I'm saying it out loud. No one's, <laughs> and people are looking at you, going, "What?" And I remember trying to do this bit the other week where I was trying to make everyone think I was going to say something racist, but then I said something that was completely anti-racist. But then everyone was too much going, "Oh no." Like, what, what are you doing to us? It's a Tuesday night in Chester. We're trying to have a nice time, and I'm going out there saying all these horrible things with mm. the idea that I'd flip it. But there was one joke that I did about 15 years ago, and I still think it's a crap joke. And But everyone laughed when I said it the first time, so I kept it in, and I'll tell it to you because I've stopped telling this joke years ago. And it was the fact that apparently Basra in Iraq had been made, uh, it was statistically the most improved holiday destination in the world. I was like, I know it's improved, but who's going there on holiday? And then I was I, I was like, where have you been on holiday? I've been to Basra. It was an 1830 holiday. 30 of us went out there, 18 came back. And <laughs> I don't think that's that good, but people loved it. And then I, <laughs> I did a joke the other week. I did a joke the other week, and I'll tell you this because I'm never going to say it again. And it got a laugh, but it's, not, it's a horrible joke, and I, I don't like it. And I said, me and my wife, we had our first date on a crazy golf course. She was the nineteenth hole. That's horrible, isn't it? That's horrible. That is not. That is not. That is not me. That's not the style of comedy uh, I I do. So yeah, um, that's just for you. That's <laughs> cracker. I mean, on that note, yeah, probably should leave it there for. Us. We'll yeah. get more of this. I don't think it can be topped. We'll get more of this, but this week I don't mm. think it can be topped. So big thanks to everyone listening. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do all of that five-star review stuff and everything, because why wouldn't you? Big thanks to Dave Fitty for this very fleeting appearance. It was fleeting. Appearance. Cameo. Thanks, as always, to Sam, who has lasted like he did on the 19th hole. Absolutely. We will see you At Lasted like it. a small boy going down a water slide. <laughs> With teeth jabbing into his skin. See you next week. Bye.